Hi, this is Rob Kelly and this is a short presentation that I gave at the IABP conference in 2014, uh, mainly aimed at the Thrive Consultants and the people in the audience doing the Thrive Consultant training program at the time. And this particular presentation is really just a further discussion on the theme of self-esteem in relation to internality and uh, externality. Basically, we've had discussions over time with clients, delegates, uh, trainees going through uh, the Thrive program, and that some of them may appear to have quite good self-esteem, uh, even though our, sorry, yeah, may appear to have quite good self-esteem, even though our uh, quizzes within the book suggest their self-esteem should be lower, and vice versa. And really the essential reason for this is that people can base their self-esteem either internally or externally. You could have someone that appears um, to have very high self-esteem when they first consult you, for example. But their self-esteem might be high at that particular time because they've just been promoted, or they've just had a windfall, or they've just got a new girlfriend, or bought themselves a new car. Equally, you can have someone who normally has, which, which of course is completely external, Equally, you can have someone who normally has a very low, sorry, a very high internal self-esteem, but something's just gone wrong in their life, and now they're basing it temporarily more externally. So we need to realise that as we're taking someone through the Thrive programme, we need to bear in mind that their self-esteem can come from either internal or external sources. This diagram here shows the difference between internal self-esteem and external. So when you've got when you've gone through the self-esteem quiz or the or the trainee's gone through the self-esteem quiz and they've got their score or their percentage of what self-esteem is, you then want to have a chat with them about how much of that self-esteem is internal or external. So for example, they may have 70% self-esteem, which is pretty bloody high really, but actually when you look at it, only a very small part of that actually comes from external sources. So actually that's a very good, high, reliable level of self-esteem. Equally you might find that a person's got 70% self-esteem, but when you look at it, almost all of it comes from external sources, which means it's unpredictable and could change at any minute. So internal self-esteem then is self-esteem that's based on stable internal uh, thinking, a stable internal appraisal of one's thoughts, actions and beliefs. So a realistic appraisal of a person's worth, capabilities, perceived effort, that um, charitable, ongoing dialogue this person speaks kindly and confidently towards himself, praises themselves, processes things well, and their view of themselves is based on almost entirely internal factors and not relying on external factors at all. If you look at the right hand side of the uh, diagram, the arrow there for external self-esteem, and this self-esteem is based on unstable external sources such as achievement and results, so exams, work performed, sports matches, particularly in relation and comparison to how other people did. This is very common with, with uh, teenagers going through exams. They're comparing themselves to others all the time. Other people's opinions, what they think other people will think, how much they've achieved, how much they've done. So external self-esteem, as we know, is based on very unstable external sources, which could change at any minute. Therefore, a person with external self-esteem, their self-esteem is fluctuating a great deal. So if you look at diagram four here now, uh, the orange line or lines along the top of the diagram show the dotted line for both is a base level. So the dotted orange line is the base level for someone who's got uh, high internal self-esteem. Of course, there are fluctuations. They have particularly good days or, or not as good days. But the fluctuations are really minor and small. Perhaps their self-esteem going up or down by a few percent at a particular time. Whereas if you look at the blue dotted line and the fixed blue line, the blue dotted line is much lower, much lower in terms of self-esteem generally because a person is basing their sense of self on very external, unpredictable factors. And then their actual self-esteem, the fixed blue line, is up and down like a bloody yo-yo. So huge peaks and troughs, 
bearing in mind what's happening in their life. They're responding to external situations that occur unpredictably within their life. So you can see the first how they're made redundant and their self-esteem goes straight down and stays down with a few little bobbles. And yet they get in a new relationship and it goes straight through the roof, fluctuates up and down for a few days. The relationship breaks down, they go back down again. You'll remember the conversation I had at a previous seminar where I described a car salesman who said to me that car salesmen have the highest highs and the lowest lows of any profession. That's because this chap's self-esteem was entirely external and his self-esteem was entirely based on how many cars he'd sold that week. If he'd sold two or more cars, he felt great about himself and about his life and hence he felt powerful and his social anxiety was low. If he hadn't sold two cars, he had very negative thoughts and a very negative view upon himself, therefore he became more external. Social anxiety was higher and he had a very unhappy time at all. He started obsessing, brooding, worrying, etc. So generally speaking, the blue line shows someone who has largely external self-esteem. Their self-esteem fluctuates frequently and significantly depending on the external sources that the individual is relying upon for information. Their self-esteem is very, very external and very unpredictable. This explains why a person with external self-esteem can appear to have high self-esteem. It's because at that moment they do feel good about themselves. Maybe the job's going well. Maybe the partner keeps telling them how great they are. Maybe the kids have just done brilliant in their exams. Maybe they've got a new partner who's suddenly telling them they love them. But when something doesn't go to plan or something stops happening, i.e. they don't achieve highly, a relationship fails, their self-esteem drops dramatically because it's entirely based upon these external, unpredictable sources. You could also have a person whose low self-esteem is relatively internal and stable, but completely negatively distorted, this person won't have an internal locus, merely that their self-esteem is based upon an internal evaluation of I am shit, or will be based upon negative external evaluations which support their beliefs. This is the person who resolutely ignores positive external sources, so rarely allows his or her self-esteem to climb significantly. I'm going to give a copy of these two slides to each Thrive Consultant so they can use them within their practice. Thanks very much.